All right, not too long ago, I got a little PSK knife. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I took it out and I put it through uh, the paces of what I thought a little PSK knife should be able to take, and it broke. Um, so after that, I decided for my kit, I was going to have Is Turley make me one. I can go over what's in this kit another time if you want, but I don't have time for it right now. So if you want to see it, holler. If not, that's fine too. Okay, so open up my kit. Here's that bad boy right here. Right. This one is made out of uh, 01 tool steel. Uh, scales left on it, which is awesome. That way it's not, you're not going to rust as bad right there. Um, variable height, convex grind on it. Sharper than crap, will shave right off the bat. Um, this one, like I said, is 1 8 inch material. I also have one that is uh, 3 16 same thing. All right? I've tried not to have sharp angles on it. The holes is drilled in them or back far enough so it's not going to create stress points. And they're plenty thick. They're not gimmicky. They're just uh, good knife blades. All right? You can actually use it just like this. I got a piece of 550 cord that is about uh, 25 inches long. All right? I'm just going to take it. I'm going to put that end right there. I'm going to grab my knife. I'm going to wrap it up towards the handle. Or up towards the blade, I'm sorry. Keep wrapping it. Until I get to the end. Snug that baby up. Run my other side right through the end. And then just tie a simple overhand knot on it. Okay, from there, it's going to give you a, a decent little knife. Nice. Uh, 90 degree edge on the back of it for doing a fire steel. If I want to do small work, I can. Once again, I've tried to put the emphasis on this knife as making the handle as long as you can as opposed to making the blade as long as you can. Because I think it's better to have a long handle than a longer blade. I can gut a deer and do whatever I have to. I can do a large game animal with just this and it worked great okay so from there this is not this is not going to be my preferred uh, method of using this though I'm going to try and we're going to try and make a handle out of this piece of oak right here you know I've used uh, linden in the past and bass or basswood and some other stuff all right I've already uh, notched the end right or cut the end off right there and how I did that I just placed my knife on there I think uh, a knife, any knife, should be able to handle that. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some of the bark off of here. Man, these skeeters are brutal. Ooh, I got a knot in it right there. That might affect how we're going to do this, but I think we'll be all right. All right, I got a little notch in the end there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look right where that knot is. I'm gonna place my blade right there. Not bad. I wanna score it. exactly what I was looking for right there. All right, now she's split. Now what I'm going to do is take this piece of 550 cord off and I'm going to replace another piece of 550 cord. Uh, in, your, uh, in your personal survival kit or on your person, I like to carry 550 cord. You can put it as your boot laces. You can have one of these bracelets made or make it. I'm not talented enough to make that, so I don't try to even mess with it. All right, now I've got Another piece of 550 cord right here. I'm going to place a clove hitch in it. I'm going to put these two back together. I'm going to 
place my clove hitch right on the end right there. All right now, I'm gonna wrap it a couple times down at the bottom, get it tight. I'll split that back open. I'm gonna place that knife blade right in there like that. All right, from here. I'll start wrapping it. Be careful of your knife blade, obviously, because it is sharp. See what that's doing? That's sandwiching that in there. If you've seen a primitive vise before, or people make vices to work on like arrowheads and stuff like that, this is pretty much what you're doing. You want that in there nice and tight. I want to pinch that, those two together, and wrap it. tight as I can get it. Pull her tight. <laughs> Alright, and then from there, I'm going to wrap it back down around whatever excess I have, and that'll help me with my grip. And put it back down on the bottom again, and run her through. Alright. So that's what I end up with, is a knife like this. Now what can you do with a knife like this? Well, once again, it's just a stick here. I've got a lot longer handle now, right? So now I can use it for different tasks. I can use it to really get through this stuff, right? I can use it to baton with a little. Right now, if I want to carve something, I've got a lot better handhold than I had before. All right, I can really grip onto this and use it. I can use it and actually use it to beat because of this vise. All right, I can drive that right into that wood. Is it going to move a little bit? Yeah, it moves a little bit, but it'll still work. All right, so. For me, that's what a PSK knife should be able to do. And like I said, Iz Turley has these. Uh, he'll be putting out some pictures of them, I'm sure, on bushcraftusa.com. Uh, um, I'm sure they'll be on his website. Uh, great little knife. Uh, I think they're going to sell for about $30 shipped. And for an eighth inch piece of steel that's tempered real well and ground uh, real nice, uh, I don't think you can beat it. So. Uh, check it out. He's also on blade forums on his own little forum up there too. So drop him a line, check it out. I'm sure he'll make you one.